In this video, I'll talk about how I explain service design on a party. But first, this is me, and I sometimes go to parties, and people ask me what I do, and I tell them I do service design. And then they ask me, what service design? Never heard of that. Um, how does that work? I tell them, well, it's the design of services, you know? Services like going to the library, borrowing a book, like having a coffee in a coffee place, or like making a driver's license. Ah, so that service design, they say, how does that work? How do you do it? And I tell them there's only two important things a service designer needs to do. The first one is to take off your designer glasses and put on your customer's glasses. And then you look through your customer glasses and you experience how it feels like to enjoy the service. Like, what's it feel like to have a coffee in a coffee place? What is it? like to borrow a book in the library. What's the experience of making a driver's license? After you did that, you put back on your designer glasses and you get to work. You consider the experiences you had and you consider the insights you got from there. And after a while you will get an idea how to improve it. Then you work on it some more and you get more ideas how to improve it. And then you improve it. And that's service design. No, really, that's not service design, people say. That can't be all. It sounds too easy. And I say, actually, it is not that easy because there's one more thing you need to do, and that is to put your customer's glasses back on and see how a customer would experience the newly designed service. Then you have to work on it some more, to improve it some more. And you have to look at it again through your customer's eyes then you have to work on it some more, and then you have to look at it again, and then you have to work on it some more until you're satisfied. And that is how I explain service design on a party.